welcome. I'm Professor Randy Ellis. I'll be giving many of the lectures in this course. Some of the lectures will be given by my good friend and colleague, Professor Christian Muse. Together, we're going to go through logic for computing science. Let's give a brief overview of what this means. Logic, what we'll do is we'll explore, first we'll look at something that's called propositional logic. And propositional logic is a way of formally describing statements that are either true or false. And that's the foundations of logic um, as we know it today. We'll also explore something that's called predicate logic. And predicate logic is a way that we can introduce a universe of discourse of some objects that we're talking about. And we want to explore statements that involve quantifiers, such as all of or some of. And we'll go through both propositional and predicate logic in two ways. The first way is we'll explore what proofs are in propositional logic and later what proofs are in predicate logic. And these are basically ways of manipulating sequences of symbols. The symbols are gathered together in something that we'll call a well-formed formula. And when we have a series of well-formed formulas, we begin with a group that are called premises. These are ones that, for the purpose of argument, we're going to take as true. And then there will be a single statement at the bottom, and that'll also be a well-formed formula. And that will be something that we'll call the the conclusion. And what we want to do is prove by some rules that the premises lead to the conclusion. After we've done the proofs, for example in propositional logic, we'll then look at what's called semantics. And semantics is a word that basically means what meaning we assign them. So in propositional logic, the basic symbols that we'll look at can be thought of as either true or false, and we combine them in ways by saying, for example, this thing and this other thing are both true. At least one of this thing and this other thing are true. This thing is not true. And we'll go through the semantics, and when we do this, we won't go through the proofs because the proofs are quite advanced. They're often left for uh, graduate courses. and in those proofs, we can show that if there's a proof for, um, a, for a, a set of premises leading to a conclusion, then semantically, there's something that corresponds. And similarly, if there's a semantic, it will, it'll be called an entailment, there's a proof. And that's a very powerful thing. And what it means is that we can really rely on the reasoning that we're going to develop in this course that if we can prove something, it's going to be valid. And if something is valid, it's going to be, there, there will exist a proof for it. Likewise, when we get to predicate logic, we'll go through the proofs. And suddenly, part of this will break down. That is, for every proof, there will be, will be something that we'll call a semantic entailment. But the other way won't be true. There are things that are called undecidable. And those undecidable things, that's where the science part of this comes in. So on the science part, what we'll do is we'll very briefly state, and we won't prove because these are quite advanced concepts, we'll prove some of the limits of knowledge that arise even in something as elementary as what's called first order predicate logic. That is, ones where we're, where we're saying, all of um, the universe of discourse or some of the universe of discourse. Even with that, there are limits of knowledge. And the computing part is we're going to use a method that's called natural deduction. There are many logical systems or ways of talking of formalizing logic, and the one that we'll use is called natural deduction. And we're using it partly because it best models the way that, for example, mathematicians um, perform their proofs. And also, in a later advanced courses in computing, it will turn out that natural deduction is a very easy way to represent uh, the way that a computer program is written, and that we'll be able, in those future courses, to prove certain theorems about programs. And so we'll be able to 
have a formal understanding of computers as languages that will arise from the learning that you can get in this course. The way that we'll do this is two ways. One is I'll be concentrating on the logic part, which is I'll be going through um, extensively the theory that you'll need in propositional logic and in predicate logic. And then Professor Muse will often be interleaved here. And what he'll do is he'll show you some of JAPE. And JAPE is a software system. And this software system is what we'll use to assist us in exploring and developing the proofs in um, this course. Uh, JAPE isn't so useful on the semantic part, but it's very, very useful on the proof part. So that's what this course is going to look like. Let's get to work.